Hey there YouTube, my name is Tyler and I am Mr. Gaming Beer and welcome back to Let's Play Baldur's Gate Siege of Dragonsphere Co-op with John and Jason. Hi. I stand hey, ready. Hmm? Alright, who wants who here? Jason, you want Dinah here? No. Okay. What do you mean? It's just like Bailoff. I know and I hate Bailoff. Alright, oh, really? I, I didn't I didn't enjoy Bailoff's company. Oh really? Not you want Minsk then? No. Oh well I gave I don't care, I'll take whatever. I gave you Dinah here. She's she you don't even do anything with her. <laughs> Where are you? Not even equipped. And John, I gave you a mint. Hmm? Okay. It will be done. How do we get out of this place, Jason? Huh? This way, good sir. Over here. Hold the door. Hold the door. Is Mince wearing a helmet? What helmet is he wearing? He's wearing just a... a flange. Generic, yeah. Generic flange. Love the generic flange, please. I'll okay, I'm gonna care. equip Mince real quick here. Sure. Uh -oh. Rap notes. What is it? I just heard an error sound. Oh, I accidentally gave Dinah here the helmet I wanted to give Minsk. <laughs> she can't wear helmets, John. Oh, also... I think I am crashing. Also, the game seems to be crashing. Yeah. Oh, what? Bleepla. Oh, thanks, me. Is that Ego I got, I got ego both bleepla. Rangers? Oh, I'm so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, Minsk is hardly a Ranger. It's true. He pretends to be, but... Just like you, John. Mm -mm. Just yeah. like... That's true. <laughs> Very true. You really don't have any rangers. You have a berserker and a cleric. Are you uh, equipping him right now? Or I'm going to do it now before we go out into the crowd of uh, people. Crowd of crap, I believe they call it. And hope that, crowd. that it was that that was causing the crash. All right. All right. Which I think it probably was. Hmm. I would think so. Yeah. I love how he just has like a mundane two-handed sword. Uh, did we keep the two-handed sword plus three as well? Yeah, he's okay. Cool. Put him in his inventory. We can always go back to that place and uh, dig through the inventory as well. Yeah, I think we should probably should do that before we head out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but just in case we encounter anything in the city, at least he's got this. Yeah, because like we've got more inventory room now with uh, yeah. down here and everything. He's at zero AC already. He's only wearing, like, plate mail and a helmet. He's at 15 decks. That's true. Yeah. I'm at negative 7 AC. That's all? I'm at, oh, actually, I'm at negative 6. It will be done. Man, I could put on the shield, too. Wow. <laughs> negative 9. Nice. Check oh, that shit out. Look at this guy. You could really be a tank, John. I could if I wanted to. Are you still using the uh, the Mace of Stunning? Yeah, the Stupefire. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Stupefire! Then I have... Uh... Oh, this is just a plus five Mace. Or a plus two Mace. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> plus five would be nice, though. Yeah. We'd really go for one of those. Are we going? Yep. Are you all done? Yeah. Cool. Let's do it. Let's go, in the words of Corwin. <laughs> With ease. There's a back alley over here. With a lady named Aileen. And a naked old man. Ah, gods, why? Why, what am I doing? What am I going to do? Uh, what's going on here? Is that man dead? He is my cousin, a refugee. He came to the city to stay with me, but caught a fever on the road. He, he was so sick when he arrived. I lived. He lived only a few hours before he died. Before he. Before he passed. Before. Okay. Why? A sad tale to be sure. Uh, could you tell me why he's lying in that cart? I brought him to the temple, but a burial costs hundred gold. I'm fifteen gold short. I don't want my cousin buried in a nameless papa's grave. Is there anything huh. you can do to help me? Uh, use that gold you stole from us. It's a scam. Her cousin's not dead. You think so? No, I'm just <laughs> kidding. Fifteen gold, fine. Fine. Oh, thank you. You are truly sent by the gods. I'm going to back to the temple right away. They're going straight to the tavern. <laughs> Both of them. Sons of bitches. Yeah. Such crowds of they just went in the back. People. Did you not see? So none of... Just none of these uh, good 
actions that we're doing have been like increasing our reputation this at all. Shows mm -hmm. So what the hell's the point? I, I, I think the point they're trying to make is that nobody cares about refugees. <laughs> and it's really a sad uh, no, social you know commentary. What? We mm -hmm. blew up a bunch of refugees. Day and age. <laughs> and then Tyler got sealed away in a crystal. Well, yeah, if you so blow them up, care. people Trapped care. my soul. But if you help them, people say, what are you helping them for? They're just refugees. They's just refugees, yo. We're all. Yeah, what we should really do is uh, With ease. a begsit. Exit. A Baldur's Gate exit. And that way they can't come here. Right. Make Baldur's Gate might Baldur's Gate great again. Yeah. Make, make Baldur's Gate. Party make Andrew. Baldur's Gate again. <laughs> Let's talk about Om. Om is huge. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna build a wall. <laughs> and we're gonna make Om pay for it. The no Omnians. Problem. Okay. Let's go grab some more stuff. Is that where we're done? For for uh, yeah, for these uh, these lovely people. <laughs> and then who? Oh, you gotta come with us, there, Jason. Okay. Who in the name of crap do we talk to to actually get this underway? Um, I think uh, we have to go back Melt? and talk. No, to... Janeth. Who? What? One of the oh, one of the four council members. Yeah, one of these assholes. One of the Grand Dukes. The Grand assholes. The grandest of butts. <laughs> Is that how you become a duke? You just gotta have a big butt. Hey, <laughs> Fenster, what the hell are you doing in my room? Is he gonna tell us the chosen stuff? What are you doing, Amwin? I welcome you with outstretched hand. Your friend needs rest now. I doubt you could wake her even if you tried, but it would be best for all if you didn't try. Leave us now. That was weird. Oh, he's got plans for her. Yeah, no kidding. So we've got the Sword of Ruin plus two also for Minsk here. Hmm. Can I move, Jason? Um, I don't know, can you? I cannot. I'm asking Why'd permission. you ask? Please, please let me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, may you move? Sure. Okay, I'm gonna give Dinah here one of these scroll cases, because I don't need two. Oh, I can't. I can't see in mine. Or was mine the empty one? Yeah, you're oh, yeah, you had the one too. with all the spells. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. There's a sling in here that we give to her, or she could take my plus four sling. Plus four sling. Plus four sling. Yeah, she'd, yeah. she'd like a nice sling. Well, then I'll take the crappy one. She wouldn't mind some bullets, neither. Neither. She can probably have all my bullets. Cool. Guys, I miss Bailoth. What are these braces in here? I'm just gonna check. Really miss that guy a lot. Mm. I didn't like him. I like Minsk and Dinah here. They're nice. They're good. They're good people. You didn't like Bayloth? Bayloth's a turd. He's not a turd. He's a turd. He ain't no toid. He's a big filthy turd, Tyler. Is that all that's in this chest, really? You're just saying that because he's a drow. <laughs> I thought we had rings. You cannot use this item? Well, it's for wizards. We should give that um, to Dinah here. What's it? Oh, yeah. A bit of stuff in here. The necklace? Yeah. Well, that cloak's not going to do this guy any good. Wasn't there like a, uh, a plus 10 longbow or something that we had? No. Is Minsk have it now? I, he has a, a de the plus 2 dead shot. Okay, cool. <clears throat> yeah. There, I gave Minsk a cloak and Dinah here a robe. Do we, we know gave, this, we we don't gave know Minsk a sling. Just put on. And why? I did. I have an extra one. I'm going to give you the one in my inventory. Yeah, Minsk doesn't need a sling. No, I'm giving down here mine. Okay. My personal special wow, one. John. Thanks. Defense. Okay, well. Can I get some bullets too? You want some braces of defense? Yeah. Hey, do you want any uh, uh, staves for down here? I thought she was using daggers. Or sorry, wands. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Lay them on me, Who's daddy got the gem bag? Don't kill me. Daddy. I have a gem bag. Oh, there should daddy. be two. Okay, I gave you some gems there. Uh, so what do you want? I gave her frost, do paralyze. Just whatever you got in there. You want fear and lightning? In Las uh, Vegas? Uh, lightning, sure. See what I did there? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Did you give a bunch of oil speeds to all heroism? 
Is there a magic dagger in there? Uh, there I don't is. believe so. There was. Oh, werebane. Oh. Oh no, it's long tooth plus two. Oh. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna give her. It. I'll give her werebane as well, just in case. I don't want werebane. You don't want it? No. You don't think we're gonna encounter any werewolves? I just don't want the the burden. She's okay. not gonna use it anyway. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to push you out there, John. The burden is too much. Yeah, why why is dagger shaped like a sword now? Which long tooth? Oh, this is the oh, because yeah. it's long. I get That's it. That's a big old That's one. That's why it's the D6. The D6 dagger. I could have sworn we had more dagger. rings. Yeah. Ten four. It will be done. Where are all our rings? Uh, we probably sold them. <laughs> yeah. That sounds okay. Good. <clears throat> we might have left some of them with uh, Bailoff and Kagan. That's the feeling I'm getting, but. I mean, Just like plus one ones. Who gives a fuck? Yeah. Were they? Okay. Yeah, I think so. And well, Minsk, like, Minsk is a plus two cloak there now, right? Companion. Or is it plus one? I have I no idea. Plus one. I can take it off and put it on again. Yeah, it's plus, plus one. one. I can identify that for you if you like. Oh, sure. Why not? Mr. Lore. <laughs> That's what they call me. Mr. Lore. What is this? Wow. I cannot identify this. It is beyond me. Beyond my this can. cloak of protection plus one. <laughs> Um, also, the, uh, there's another helmet in that chest that's, uh, immunity to fear. I don't know if you want that more than, uh, fatigue. Mmm, for Minsk? Yeah. Maybe. What, I what feel like room? fatigue would be wearing? a lot better for him because of his berserk and abilities. Yeah. What a, I, you mean the helmet? Yeah. Yeah, well... It's fine. That one's fine. I just put it on because I thought it was funny. Yeah, that's true. It's a pretty sweet helmet. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys ready to go? Yeah, Kagane yeah. definitely did, had a belt too, that we don't have. Yeah, you're probably right. It was just like one of those plus yeah. three versus bludgeoning or some bullshit. Yeah, but I mean, like, better than nothing. <laughs> okay. So I got. I got a couple spells here for uh, Dana here. Oh, thank you, Shakabib. Shakabib? Shakabu. Shakabu? So Shakabu. Got it. Do I get 15 spells next level? Is that what's happening? I think so. I'm excited. Right. What level are you now? I am. Eight? Beats me. Yeah, clerk level eight. Range yeah, old. so you'll get fifth next level. That's Me insane. too! High five, Jan! High five! High five! <laughs> nice. Good high fives. <clears throat> we done here? Uh, stand. yeah, I'm just giving, uh, Danny here some spells. Tell me if you fuck any up. All good. Okay, I think good. the rest of them are for me. I think those are too low level to fuck up. Is this uh, level 5? Okay, yeah. I got a 5th level spell for it, too. Oh, shit. Bitch. Shit, bitch. Do you want to hold bitch. person? Sure. Cool. Why not? Why not? Uh, do you want skull trap? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Chaotic commands. Skull trap. Well, she can't do karate commands. <laughs> Okay. Or whatever. And you can't do it either, eh? No. Jeez. Not all. Jeez. What is Minsk's? Oh, Minsk's Jay dexterities. Jay Ways. <laughs> Karate commands, he says. <laughs> Get a load of this guy. Get a load. Get Take a load off this guy. What the fuck is Get! Remember his fucking spell? What's going on, Jason? The clicking in the spell box is being weird. Oh, like, yeah, is it unclicking sort of thing immediately? Yeah. If you click on the top spell and then go down, I found that helpful. I, could, I can take, click on the top spell. It's unclicking. And click on the bottom three. Oh, weird. Oh, there we go. Now I can. Click on I really want to just bash down here over the face. Do you guys really hate down here that much? No, I don't. I, I don't hate down here. I don't know what he's talking about. No, it's, I just got an urge, all right? And sociopath. I mean, like, we saved down here last game. We just ditched her immediately. Oh, I know. It's because she's black. 
Then why do I like Baylos so much? <laughs> he's like blue. Pretty Indeed. blue. No, he's he's as black as it gets. Black as the night. He's like Wesley Snipes. Darkness. You you done there down here? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, who's this nobleman? Oh, who's this nobleman? Hey, belt. Accept my apologies. My intent was to keep you and Imowen safe. Kalar's assassins, indeed any assassins, should never have been able to breach the palace. Hey, good fucking job, bud. So, I want to tell this guy about the money that we lost. <laughs> he genuinely doesn't give a fuck. Now these things happen. Speaking, speaking of happening, what in the hell's happened to your voice? <laughs> ah yes, you wouldn't know. An old friend from my adventuring days caught up to me shortly before the Iron Crisis began. Flaming Fist dealt with her, but not before she managed to place a curse upon me. Irritating, but not life-threatening. Even so, I'm glad to have my true voice restored. I believe he had a French accent in the, uh... <laughs> really? Original. So this is how they explain getting a new voice actor? I guess so, yeah. Wow. Interesting. It's probably the best explanation. Yeah. Um... Voice yeah. acting is pretty inconsistent. They probably could have just left it alone. As am I. I always thought it curious that a man of your reputation sounded so petulant. <laughs> it didn't trouble me over. Didn't trouble me overly, though. Granted, something had obviously changed. In any event, it's resolved. Thank the gods. Um. Yeah. So your guy lost all my money. Bye. <laughs> you have my thanks. If you enter the city, take Captain Cohen and be vigilant. I. Hoped for peace in the wake of the Iron Crisis, but it seems that is denied us for the moment. <clears throat> All right. Alrighty, Roo. Downstairs we go. You must gather and you your should party too. Before venturing forth. Come, fellows. Oh. Is that noble man again? Get out of the way. Noble man. <laughs> mm. Not a problem. Who is this guy in blue? Janeth? Yeah. Hello. It's Janice. I'm glad to see you well. Now you, how fair is anyone? The intruder's weapons were poisoned, but Timora smiled upon us. The poison was weak and fatal only to the weakest of victims. Imran's heart beats much stronger than that. Oh, I don't know about that. It's worrisome that the palace was so easily penetrated. Penetrated. And to learn that Kalar's <laughs> reach extends this far beyond the winding water. <clears throat> What do we know of her plans? Precious little. She claims herself an instrument of the gods, which gods are a matter of some debate, on a divine mission. As to what that mission is, it is as countless as the mouths that praise her and those that curse her. Okay. I am glad we had a chance to speak before you depart. But now, I must go. There are Ta -ta. many demands on my time. Ta -ta. If I do not attend to them, their number will only grow. Farewell. Farewell. Bye. Bye. So, do I talk to uh, Duke Elton then? Let's look at. Uh... Just talk to the Dukes. Just talk to all the Dukes. <laughs> Duke oh. Elton. Let's try to find a different one. How are you holding up? Uh. Well enough, sir. And you? After Sarabak's defeat, I had hoped for peace, but it was not to be. I grow too old for this sort of thing. Once it would have excited me, now I am simply weary. So this is the guy that owned Sector 1 or whatever in Hunger Games. Oh, that's what I thought I was thinking the whole time. Every night is Dawn's Herald. The trick is to hold on to the memory oh, he is Canadian. until the darkness breaks. He's a Canadian icon. Oh. oh. Donald. Trump. Oh. No. Oh. Um, darkness is a handy tool for those who know how to use it. No. I ain't no thief. 
They call Kalar the Shining Lady. She fancies herself the light that will break the darkness. However Kalar and her followers try to justify their actions, they are disrupting commerce throughout right. the Sword Coast, and our people suffer for it. What is this whole first bit? My mother... I've been called many things in my time, Archer Darkman, but my mother was no dog. Names are just words, and words can be twisted. What? 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 What did you call him? <laughs> I said they call Kalar the Shining Lady. She fancies herself the light that will break the darkness. I said nothing about his mother. He's he's saying that calling somebody something isn't, uh, you know. Oh, okay. He's been called the son of a bitch. He didn't voice that first bit. It really threw me off. <laughs> um. <clears throat> Not for long, Kalo tried to kill me. She will answer for it. Your words are welcome. And they give us hope in these difficult times. Oh, if you do venture into the city... Now, of course. Sure to take <laughs> of course. With you. A talented officer, that one. She'll take care of you. Oh my god, we had to talk to the stupid guard. Anybody? Oh, we're not even allowed to talk to? Oh, Have sorry. you completed your Have preparations? You completed? Uh, 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 Once we start uh, marching uh, north, uh, there will be uh, no uh, coming uh, back uh, to the uh, city. Uh, yes, I'm ready to begin the march to Dragon Spear. Alright. I'll see you on the morrow. Word is your friend Imoen's mostly recovered from the Crusader poison, if you want to speak with her. Just remember, once you go up to your room, I'll leave to begin preparing for the journey. You won't get another chance to head out into the city. Are we done with the city? I believe so. Yes. Cool, cool. Unless there was more stores, but... No, there's just, just the, the two one. stores, I believe. You must gather your Come, fellows. Come, John. John and Mitch. Store. What? Oh. Was it just the one? Two, well, there's two, two people two, in the store. Two, 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 two guys. Two guys. There's two guys in, in the, the store. store. They sell you magical things. Vince got stuck on the wall. No, oh, that's fine. That's totally fine, John. <laughs> so much fun. Fine. Yeah. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Come closer, Dinah here. Gather your party before venturing forth. You must gather She's your party coming. before venturing forth. Uh, you must gather your party before venturing uh, forth. <laughs> it will be done. Everyone. So this is the Slayer the of Saravok, the hero oh, shit. of Baldur's oh. Gate. How pleased I am to make your acquaintance. I know this guy. Mm -hmm. I don't. <laughs> As I'm sure I will be yours once you tell me how you got in here. If it is security you desire, it would be prudent to reconsider your sleeping arrangements. I suspect the palace's weaknesses have become all too apparent to you of late. Yeah. Strange. There lies within you barely a spark of divine consciousness, yet you bested your brother in blood. How? What is it that drove you to victory where so many others fell in defeat? Um... I don't say what the fudge are you talking about, <laughs> but... Instead, it's just the good, neutral, evil. <clears throat> um, Saravok was weak. No, the teachings of my foster father, Grian. He always uh, taught me how to throw darts when I was a kid. Gorion. His death was the first step of your current journey, was it not? I wonder what wisdom did he impart that left such an impression? He taught me to value darts. <laughs> Interesting. We will see if that is enough to bear you through the trials ahead. I imagine it will be. You do not see it yet, but another crossroads in your journey lies before you. One you will reach sooner than you think. The path you choose is of interest to me. Your path could lead in many directions. You waver, unsure whether to claim credit for your deeds or to brush them aside. I can offer you clarity, but we can speak more of this in time when I am certain that you are the one I seek. 
Who are you? What do you want? Suffice it to say that I am a man who has lost much, but would regain some measure of what was taken from me. That is all you need now. I am not here to act, not yet. I am here to evaluate. Are you worthy? Is what you carry within enough? Are you strong enough to overcome the challenges you shall soon face? Only the passage of time will provide us answers. I'm curious to see how this plays out. I will be watching. Creepy. <laughs> I... Oh, you're back. Oh Sorry if I don't seem excited to see you. Poison really takes a toll. What's that man in the hood doing here? You don't know him? He said he was a friend of yours. We've known some pretty strange characters, so I didn't think it was weird to have someone pop in looking for you. I have no friends, just allies and tools. Hey, thanks. Wow. Actually, I'm kind of glad wow. you said that. It'll make what I have to say a little easier. What are you going to say, Emma? I wanted <laughs> to talk to you about going to battle the crusade. I can't do it. I can't go with you. Nobody invited you. Um, can't go with me? What nonsense is this? You're the closest what? thing I have to family. Why? I love you. Yeah. You know that. <laughs> but after Saravok, I need things to be quiet. Just for a little while. But we're adventurers. I'll be back on my feet soon. I'm sure of it. I'm the one who ran away from Candlekeep to help you out, remember? <clears throat> I just need a little more time to rest and work with the weave. Promise me you'll be careful, all right? I don't know what I'd do if... We've just lost too many people, you know? I'm gonna leave now. Take care of yourself. She's yeah, working on her weave. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta work on my weave. <laughs> you know? <laughs> For all. Trying to find out who voice acts Emwyn so that I can do my best to ruin their career. Hey, 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 What the fuck? What the fuck is this? Are you awake? Ugh. <sighs> what are you doing here? Never mind, go do it elsewhere now. Don't you want to hear what I have to say? No. Well. At least they spell it out for you. Sure, that somehow, some way, I will manage to survive, blissful in my ignorance. No, no, it's really important. I've joined the Flaming Fist. <sighs> no, you haven't. No, really, I have. Not under my name, of course. Daddy would never allow it. But I'm in it now. Life as a noble is boring and stupid. I want to do something great with my life, and also get out of this dirty old city, and maybe meet some handsome soldiers. So, I'm going north with you. Well, that's something. I no, know. three was the right option. <laughs> Alright, go back to sleep. I'll see you in... Oh, I guess you don't really have time to sleep now. I'll see you soon. Remember, whatever you do, don't tell Daddy about this. Yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> She's your problem now. Yeah. If she makes it out of the city with us... Hey, you guys didn't sleep on my floor? No, we were standing guard. I just want you to know, if she makes it out of the city, I will absolutely kill her. I'm gonna take this animate dead scroll as well. The sooner we reach Dragonspear Castle, the sooner we shall learn whether their father spawned Kaelar, as well as the Ensenavok. I guess Minsk will have to leave the party for a time. What? Because she's a ranger. So this is the, well, uh... Can kill... I'm gonna take my staff of striking as well. And this is. You can kill party members and Minsk doesn't mind? Yeah. That's good. Nobody gives a fuck if you kill party members. No. You own them. <laughs> your life is mine now. They're, they're, they're your intellectual property? Yeah. Interlurcher. Okay. Interlurcher. Interlectual? I've been drinking, alright? <laughs> John, never drink in game. Oh god, my life done. would be ruined. Hey, uh, Mr. Oh, Entar Silver Shield. I hope you slept well. You, you should be gone. Head. Our prayers and hopes go with you. With your help, I'm sure we'll be able to stop the crusade before it grows any stronger. 
Oh, the Fleming Fist travels with you under the camera. Oh, this is a French guy. Captain Corwin oh. and Corporal Duncan. I'm sorry that Duke Elton could not be present, but the ongoing crisis has called his attention elsewhere. Is there anything else you need before you depart? Uh, that's a pretty good French accent. <laughs> he might have been French, I don't know. I don't think he's French. <laughs> um, should we go over the mission again, or? Fuck it. We got it. We what got route? the gist. We're what route? It. What, what route? route? You'll have to travel by major roads. The contingent is too large to move swiftly over land. You'll cross the winding water at Coastway Crossing, and then it's a straight march to Dragon Spear. Is there anything else? Nothing, Duke Silver Shield. upon you with favor. May Tamora smile on you, Archer Dartman. If anyone can end this threat in the city, it is you. You better get moving, unless there was something else. Yes, Duke Silver Shield, I had one more thing to speak to you about privately. A family matter. Let me guess. Skis joined the Flaming Fist and plans to journey north with you. You know? My dear Ski has many talents. Subtlety is not among them. First, I am aware of her grand plan. Bench Duncan, the man who arranged her entry into the Fist, is a friend. Do you want to be rid of your daughter that badly? I want. I need her to grow up. I want always be there to protect her. Though I like no, you it want... not, it is my hope this will prove a learning experience for her. That service to the Fleming Fist will strengthen her body, mind, and character. <laughs> See? Perhaps Captain Corwin might serve as a role model for her. I kind of like it, though. <laughs> I like so it, so cheesy. So <laughs> bad. Uh, your optimism in this... No. Earlier, Ski said you think Kalar may be a child of Baal like myself. After Saravok, we'd be fools not to consider the possibility. But only <laughs> okay. this rumor and conjecture. If you two share blood, well, that is all the more reason for you to seek her out, no? You don't I don't think appreciate it is. your coming to me with your concerns about Ski. Please, accept this ring as a token of oh, gratitude. Oh. What, do you, like what do you think it is there, John? I think it's just a French-Canadian that learned uh, English as a second language. <laughs> when her brother died... I'm kidding. She <laughs> changed. She got wilder. It's just a, pushed me away. It's a bad French accent. I am hopeful this experience will help change her priorities. One other thing, few of those traveling with you will know Ski's true identity. She is to receive no special treatment from the Fleming Fist. You, however, know exactly who she is. I expect yeah. my daughter to return to me alive and unharmed. I unharmed. am understood, I trust. Good. <laughs> Speak with Captain Corbin <laughs> by the main door. <laughs> and be on your guard. The threat be on your guard. Be on your guard. Trust the good. <laughs> Play on your guard, Captain. Captain Bane Stunken. It is a ring, the guard ring. It's plus two, plus two saving throws oh. and armor class. Oh. Oh. Who Duke Elton. There's actually a list for Duke Elton's voice actor. Okay. Um. I can't find it. So who are we giving that to, Minsk? Then he can give the Cloak of Protection plus one to down here? Sure. Awesome. Let's do that. She can't cast Hold Person either. Fucking moron. Dumb bitch. Oh, apparently it's the same voice actor as the narrator? Oh, wow. Hmm. I don't know if that's true. Oh, well. Can't trust the internet. Oh, well. Let's leave that for another time. Give me that cloak. Why'd you give her keys? Uh, it's she doesn't want key. keys. Yeah, she does. Fuck you and your keys. She can free up some space in my inventory. Fuck your keys. Give me a cloak. Captain Keys. Commander Keen. Give me the cloak. The Give cloak, me John. The fucking cloak. I have a cloak. Yes. Which cloak? Minsk. The cloak Minsk of protection cloak. plus one. Put the put the ring on Minsk and give Diana the cloak. Thank you. I suppose. Let's get this show on the boat. Sure, sure. With ease. We have this boat on the show. Let's get this show, boat, and show on the boat show. For real. 
It sounds Rock. like an actual thing. The boat show? You, must gather you guys coming? Here's the thing. Are, are, are we supposed boat to boat just walk out the door? I thought we were supposed show. to talk to somebody. Uh, she ain't here, so I assume she's outside. <laughs> Wait for yeah. us outside. Cool. Or she'll just interrupt us upon Look leaving. Look all the people come to wish us good fortune in our travels, boo. Some sinister music. <laughs> Holy moly. Corwin. Fog. Pastricus. Viconia. <laughs> Wave to the people. Blow them kisses. Uh, so Viconia. Viconia. Look like much to me. Are you talking to her? How much longer must we wait? Oh, the portrait. Fickle things. I know too well what can happen when moods turn sour. Good day to you. I'm Archer Dobman, and you are. My name is Viconia de Vere. Circumstances have brought me into this march against the Crusade and into partnership with this dwarf. Yeah, perhaps we'll meet later on the road then. For now, I must go. I'm sure we'll talk again soon, Archer Dobman. Be dust. What's in you? What dwarf. Are you looking at? Fog. <laughs> Puffod or Puffog? Uh, I wasn't fuck? looking at any particular thing, just looking around in general. I don't like being with that in general. Or specific. Do your gazing in someone else's direction. I like fog. Well met, my friend, and how does this morning suit you? Well, thanks. I'm glad to hear it, and there are many. There are many depending on you to resolve the Kayla situation as you did with Saravok. Well, they best prepare for disappointment then. <laughs> Eeyore. <laughs> you are the you are more so than a simple adventurer now. You have become a symbol. People cheer your name and look to you for hope. It's a great responsibility, a great burden than I'd ever want to bear. A greater burden. Be vigilant. Vigilant, and I wouldn't want anything to happen to the hero of Baldur's Gate. Oh, that so guy is kind. hiring assassins. So oh, kind. yeah, totally. Uh, where's Corwin? Oh, she's right there. Right there. Corwin. Corwin. I'm going to miss you so much, Roma. Mama, who is that? Is that the hero? I thought that was the dude in red talking. <laughs> <laughs> you have wow. children, Captain. Just one. Feels like more than that sometimes. I am a handful. That's what Grandma says anyway. His hands aren't that big though. <laughs> I'd say I'm at least six handfuls. Six hands, I mean. Whose hands Roma. aren't that big? Grandpa. Roma, Roma, this is Archer Dartman. <laughs> say Archie half Dartman, your Roma, fucking line. I know you. You killed Saravak. Are you gonna kill Kalar too? Uh, like if the opportunity presents itself. I'm hoping it won't come to that. They'll do what they have to. Just like you. Exactly like that. Your mother's a tough lady. You're lucky to have her. Mm-hmm. Sometimes when she's here. Oh, she's. You and Grandpa need to eat. Roma's a I know, bitch. I know, I just miss you is all. I know. I miss you too. Now give me a hug and go to your grandfather. Oh, let's just take her on the road. Are you ready to <laughs> leave the city? Just give me a hug and get the fuck Archer out of here. Archer Dartman. I'm ready. Let's, let's go. go. <laughs> Damn it, Corwin. Did she say that at the end of every... I think so. Every single time we spoke Yeah, her. give him hells, Archer Dartman. Oh, uh, much. So, Carlo, what to do with that kind of gate? You go with the hell, Sir Dermon. Yeah. Oh, isn't this nice? Hmm. <laughs> We're all, all like walking into each other and shit. <laughs> what are you doing? Cheering? Cheering for a sibling of Saravok? That's what they are. They found Saravok's journal. It reveals the truth, but the Council of Four wants to keep it a secret. Is that true, Archer Darman? Are you child of ball? You question the hero of Baller's Gate? They do, and I shall answer them. That's a bad idea. 
You're probably Hear right. me! <laughs> I am the bar spawn. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> Just... The bottom one is savage. <laughs> Well, Tyler, are you going to pick three? Oh. Hear me, people of Baldur's Gate. I am a ball spawn, <laughs> like my half-brother Saravok before me, and I am your only shield against what comes, your only sword. Only one with the divine coursing through their veins could hope to thwart the child of a god, and only one can end the threat of Kayla Argent. Now stand aside. No. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> you didn't fear you. Damn it, Archer Topman! What was that supposed to accomplish? It seemed like a good idea at the time. <laughs> <laughs> Do us both a favor. Try not to have any more good ideas, alright? Did you pick number three? Yeah. Nice. Wow. <laughs> Get out of the city! Out of all the heroes, no different than Saravok! Fuck. That's brutal. It was. You know, I basically just donated 160,000 gold to you. Guys. Corwin and her aide, Corporal Bence Duncan, maintain order in the caravan from Baldur's Gate. Some who joined the expedition are unaccustomed to flaming fist discipline. Hard lessons are learned in the early days of the march north. The journey is slowed by the crusade's victims. A multitude of broken, haunted men and women clog the coast way. When asked, they speak of fields set aflame granaries ransacked, and family conscripted by the crusade. Yet many characterize these hardships as necessary sacrifices in pursuit of a greater good. A strange acceptance, even admiration of Kalar Argent is disconcertingly common in those she has wronged. Some proclaim the Shining Lady a prophet, doing the work of not one but all faiths, all gods. Is it possible Kalar Arjun's cause is a righteous one? Or is she engaged in a great deception to further her own agenda, as Saravak once did? Hmm. 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 Let's kill her. Let's kill her. Let's let her feel your Let's wrath. Go. Let's go. And what of your goals? Ooh, many souls were lost during the Dragon Spear Wars. Monsters everywhere. I will see mm -hmm. justice done and restore them to the light. Yes, quite honorable. But what makes you think yourself capable of achieving this, this Kayla Argent? They're talking. Oh. You dare befoul my person with your magics? Blood is something to behold, not fear. Your divine heritage radiates from you. From which of your parents, mother or father? Enough of these games and enough of your questions. Heffernan, get this mage out of my sight. At once, my lady. <laughs> well, the last you person managed to talk. Words <laughs> about this, God one. Perhaps. Perhaps. <laughs> Perhaps we'll have words. Correct thine steps. No, he is unhappy. Oh, did we lose? Uh, yeah. Well, how much reputation did we lose for that? One. This one. one. Okay, cool. And we each gained 7,500 experience. Huh. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. We should probably cut this episode here, and we'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Baldur's Gate: Siege of Dragon Spear Co-op. Au revoir. See ya. Au revoir.